Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and today it's time to put on that big bubble of protection because I'm gonna be going over each and every abjuration spell in the game and rating them on Davy's Davy Meter. Keep in mind, as always, that this video is absolutely loaded with opinions, so if you feel like you can put on more protections better than I can, feel free to leave a comment down below. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Cantrips! Blade Ward. On the outside, this looks decent, but the secret is that if you just take dodge, you'll be way better off. Resistance. Not exactly amazing during combat, and if you're out of combat, you could just use the help action. First level! Absorb elements. Reaction spells are my favorite because I don't have to think about using them. The added damage is just icing. Alarm. Warning. Bitch incoming. I repeat, bitch incoming. Armor of Agathis. This is one of those weird spells that legitimately get better with higher spell slots. Ceremony. This spell is so flavorful and the effects are so varied and useful that the fact that this is a ritual means that you don't even need to worry about wasting any of your prepared spells. I don't care if it's situational, I'm totally biased towards the spell. Mage armor. Remember that whole thing about mages being easy to hit? <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. Protection from evil and good. The problem with the one person you touch spells is that nothing is stopping the creatures from just being all like, oh, okay then, I guess I'll just attack the three other people I'm here to kill. Still useful for possessions, I guess. Sanctuary. The spell is dedicated to all the players that chose to spend their days healing all game long. Super useful for keeping someone alive. Shield. Locked, bitch. Shield of Faith. Another useful spell, only made less useful by the number of spells that also do this. Snare. Davy, what happened? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Second level! Aid. It's like temporary HP, but better. Arcane Lock. Now you'll never get into my porn collection. Lesser Restoration. You have no idea how many times this has saved my life. Pass Without Trace. You have no idea how many times this has saved me from another encounter. Protection from Poison. Not a lot of things use poison, and it's not like poison needed any help being the worst damage type. Warding Bond. Um, uh, wh what the fuck? Why is this only level 2? Third level! Beacon of Hope. I once used this in tandem with a mass healing spell to help fight a dragon. The DM needed a minute. Counterspell. Magic block, bitch! Dispel magic. Dispel, bitch! Glyph of Warding. See, the reason why I like this better than Contingency is because I can cast this as low as level 3, and there's absolutely no max duration. Magic Circle. Very situational, but when it works, it really works. Non-detection. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Protection from energy. Uh, how about I just stick with absorb elements? You know, the level 1 spell? Remove curse. It's not nice to curse. Fourth level! Aura of life. Ghosts really like sucking the life out of you. Use this instead to make them go suck your- Aura of purity. This spell gets better the higher level you go, since tough boys really like throwing out status effects like cheap cigars. Banishment. Be gone, thought. Death ward. I almost disintegrated someone by throwing a lich at them. Almost. Freedom of Movement. Surprisingly, this spell is better in water campaigns than in most other situations. Still, it's an hour of non-concentration movement, so... Mordenkainen's Private Sanctum. The enemy keeps teleporting in to attack us! I've got the solution, just give me ten minutes, hope nothing interrupts me, and then don't leave this cube for any reason. Alright, we good? Okay, everybody choose a pea corner. Stone Skin. Remember Blade Ward? Yeah, that's how I feel about this, even if it's concentration. Fifth level! Anti-Life Shell. You fools! Nothing can penetrate my anti-life bubble, except, you know, ranged attacks and spells, which, uh, you've, you've conveniently brought. Huh. Banishing Smite. FACE THE MIGHT OF MY BAN HAMMER! Circle of Power. Useful for the reason that when a paladin gets access to the spell, there will already be crazy powerful spells to contend with that you now get to laugh at. Dispel evil and good. BEHOLD! I come from the demi-plane of dread, and I am here to crush all mortal- Wait, is that God? Greater Restoration. The situational spell to cure all asshole ails and dick bad diseases. Planar Binding. Hey, do you have a thousand gold jewel that you're willing to throw away, as well as an entire hour within 60 feet of a demon? No? Didn't think so. Six level! Druid Grove. Okay, given that this spell clearly exists as just a role-playing convenience and doesn't really have any practical use in game, I'm rating it as such and want to mention that this spell alone makes me want to play a druid. Forbiddance. Once again, this spell requires some extreme components for some very situational uses. It gets a two because these situations are a little more manageable. Globe of Invulnerability. Fear the might of my magical balls! Guards and Wards. This is a very stupid name for another situational spell, but once again, this one is more manageable because its whole purpose is just to defend a place. Primordial ward. Unfortunately, this concentration spell relies on you to get hit in order to use it, but fortunately, the immunity to elemental damage makes up for it. Seventh level! Symbol. Hey, don't you touch my box! Wait, is is that all those seventh level spells? Well, okay then. Eighth level! Anti-magic field. This spell is the absolute bane of all casters, especially the wizard. Holy aura. Looks like the shoe is on the other table, which has now been turned! Mind blink. I wonder if it would be a cool idea to bind the spell to a helmet. Actually, I think that's been done before. Ninth level! Imprisonment. The amount of preparation required for this spell is insane, so you need to really hate the person you're imprisoning with this thing because they are not coming back. Invulnerability. I'm so hard that nothing can pierce me! Ha <laughs> ha! Prismatic Wall. What nonsense compelled someone to create such a convoluted spell? 
well, whoever it was, they've helped me make my next bad guy. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to be a cool dude. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my Discord in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.